Point of the light. I was just pointing the light, everybody. It's pointing the light. What do you think I was doing? The massive set of choppers. Good evening. Welcome to the show. It's right, repping the merch. You know what it is. What's going on, everybody? Good to see you all. Welcome back. Man, it always feels like such a long time when we have a Saturday night off, but it's fun. I watched the worst film on the planet last night. It was terrible. Terrible. I can't even tell you what it was called. Like the beginning or something. I don't know. It was absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. You know how Saturday night is uh, is moving out with Mrs. Two Bit. Honestly, it was so bad. So bad. I literally can't even tell you the premise of it. But what I can tell you was it was terrible. So don't watch it. Um, so we got into that last night and it was rubbish. So yeah, that was kind of my Saturday night new hoodie. No, no. No, this is an OG hoodie. This You can't even get this. You can't even get this hoodie anymore. This super OG stuff, this. Um, but yeah, Power Rangers. That's what it was. So yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, pretty interesting Saturday night. Didn't really do much. Didn't really do anything. Um, it was just what it was. So um, anyway, good to see you all. Welcome to that. I did. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. The market took a big hit. Big hit. And I was like... Got my phone, and I'm like, brr, 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 brr. I, I is Satoshi, yeah, it's too bit, yeah. You know what, just to sort that chart out, it's just terrible. And he was like, yeah, don't worry about it, I'll just flow about six million, and I'm like, yeah, look, Bill. So we're back up, that makes more sense. Um, It's not collapsing, Pat Murphy, you've not even looked at the charts, Pat Murphy. I've got you covered, don't worry about it, I made some calls. You know that your boy's connected. Anyway, welcome everybody, hope you're all doing well. Like as always, do not forget to smash that like button, Uh, does help that channel out. More than you believe. Obviously, you guys were killing it last uh, time we were live, and it did help the channel out in some videos. So do me a favor, smash the like button. If you're brand new, by the way, consider subscribing. We really appreciate you joining our family uh, and investors uh, by hitting that Discord channel as well as everything else that we've got going on. So like I said, I appreciate you all being here. For sure, we've got, uh, well, probably a slightly different show tonight. It is going to be slightly different. I want a bit of a purpose to it. Can see a Chaka. Thank you for the message as well. Shout out to the Marty Inu fan as well if they're in here. So shout out to you guys. But yeah, I want to do something a little bit different, whether we make this a bit of a weekly thing or whatever. But it's the first week of February. I want to talk a little bit about a few coins I think are going to be great this Feb. So as opposed to just getting into some news that's coming out of the weekend, which generally isn't much. It's proper boring. Uh, I thought we'd break down a couple of coins I think are going to be good. Discuss them, see what people think about them. Is it aligned to your views, etc., etc., etc.? So we'll sort of get into all of that. Uh, in tonight's show and if everyone hates it then we'll do something different um it's kind of my view but um i want to talk a little bit about ethereum layer twos and the difference and why you need to be important uh why you need to be looking at some of those we're going to talk about xrp as well as top three cryptocurrencies to make you a thousand dollars in february as well as a few other little bits and pieces as you would expect us to go across the show so do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you're brand new to the channel we do appreciate you being here like i said drop a comment and say hello um it really does help out more than you guys would uh would know and uh i'm not gonna cry on the stream no no zero doing there's definitely no four kids on the way absolutely not Vern. i, I see you i've seen you've messaged me quite a bit so I, I will get to that and all the stuff after the show so m creek good to see you it says hello storm invite me today wind is hella strong um yeah all i know is and i don't know about you uh i don't know about you uh m creeks but man that nice little move on btc <whistles> picked up a couple of nice longs let's go baby uh, so yeah, a couple of nice little trades off the uh, off the back of that. If you are interested in trading, by the way, head on over to Fair Desk, link at the top of the chat and in the description. They're going to give you $25 to sign up to a week will be given. And also they have a fantastic platform which you can trade over there. So check out Fair Desk, link in the top of the description. Sign up. It is free to do so. You might just bag yourself a $25 free futures trading account. So check it out. Check it out. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Advantage and invest AI AMA Thursday. Let's go. Chili's is up. Oh God. Is it? Is it? Oh, come on. See, I was too excited about going live. Too excited about going live. And uh, I forgot to put this screen up. That's a bit of a disaster. Oh, what's going on here? Hold on. Let's bring this one up. And then let's bring this one. Oh, what is happening here? What is happening? Bring the screen up, you massive. There we go. There we go. We're all good. We're all good. Kind of. That's my entire screen that I'm looking at, by the way. Why is this not coming up? Why are you not coming up? Anyone have any ideas why that's not coming up? Uh, there we go. Man, nothing like being prepared, is there? Nothing at all like being prepared. So, uh, so yeah, Advantage AI, yeah, it's the same time as I go live. So, hey, be interesting, a bit of competition. <laughs> uh, Chaka, yeah, shout out to Chaka. Thanks so much for bringing them out, you new family. There is his link. Check, go check out Chaka's YouTube channel. Killing it in a minute. Killing it in a minute. Yeah, zero, same time as you, but yeah, Holmes in the building. So, everyone join the cult yet? Not on Marbit's Telegram. Your thoughts aren't welcome, apparently. Let's just not. I I uh, I have seen the Discord. I'm not going to get into it. It's uh, it's. I don't think it's worth anyone's time. So let's just move on. It's much much easier. Be in it. Be dotting it. Everyone's welcome to their opinion. 
Everyone's welcome to have a view. Let's not just make it some weird thing. Like it is just what it is. All right. So let's just, you know, move on and 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 crack on. You either in it, you're not in it. It doesn't matter either way. That's my view. That's my view. XRP went live in the US today. Yeah, I saw that. Saw that pretty good. Dude. What's up, bro? What's got going on, ghost? What's going on, brother? Good to see you. Killing the gym, I'm assuming, as always. But welcome to you. Joyce in the building as well. Uh, Myra pumped. Yeah, I saw Myra once. And Luna Classic did as well. Luna Classic was kind of on the move as well. So, um, all good, really. It's not 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, yeah, it's just as I finish, in fairness. So, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, everyone does seem to go on. They they come, don't they? they? They do come, and they try and take the place. Remember, we had Hobbs and the Crypto Shop. They tried to muscle in. They tried to muscle in. And then we've had, who is it? Tried to get in, what's he called? Clay bro. He tried to start the nine o'clock slot. He got yeeted as well. <laughs> Everyone wants the nine o'clock slot. There's only one channel out there that's got it. And here we are, live as ever. Right, let's get into the cryptocurrency market. Like I said, it's been super interesting in the last couple of uh, hours, which is kind of pretty bizarre, really. But anyway, $1.65 trillion is the global market cap, 0.34% down on the day, $31 billion. Very, very quiet weekend, if we're honest. I actually thought we would see retail come out and buy. It does look like they are buying this dip, by the way. We'll come and take a look at the technicals in just a minute, but pretty much a, uh, yeah, pretty much a, a, an interesting... Um, an interesting move, all in all. Uh, 42,900 is where we sit currently with Bitcoin, 2.3% up on the week. So good news on that. Ethereum sitting at 2,300. Likewise, coming down the list, BNB with a little bit of a cheeky move. Solana, 1.3. Nothing too crazy going on over there. XRP down about 1.8%. Holding that 50 cent range. We talked a little bit about XRP at that 50 cent range quite significantly. Huge level of support. If we break 50... That's when it could get a little bit spicy. That's when it could get a little bit spicy, is my view. But look, stick around. We'll. Um, I've got a little bit of news around that. Have I just been stung by something? A little bit of news around kind of what's going on with that as well. So we'll sort of keep an eye on that for sure. Um, Edward Vincent, good to see you, pal, as always. Appreciate you being here. Um, Cardano down a little bit. Avalanche doing the same. Then we get into some very interesting coins. And some that we've been talking about for a while. Some that we've missed. And some that ultimately we think have got some more legs to it. So Chainlink, we'll talk a little bit about that tonight. Um, I've got a kind of view on what's going on, but that up is up 3.9, $18. Kind of crazy to think about that. Matic at 78 cents. I, I've said this now, what feels like forever. And I just, I am truly in that place. Again, do not sleep on Matic, right? Don't sleep on Matic. And I'm going to tell you why. We'll break Matic down a little bit. I think it's going to be one of those those coins that just people uh, miss. That's, that's my view, by the way. So we'll see. We'll see, but Matic looks pretty solid in fairness. Internet computer doing the same. The rest of the market, pretty flat. Nothing too crazy going on with a number of coins that you would expect to move. Everything else is pretty boring. That's the honest answer. Arbitrum might try and pick a little bit more up. I hope you guys know I'm buying that at the minute. Casper holding about that 10 cents range as well. So look, again, a lot of just boringness out there. Swee Network, don't sleep on Swee. That's got some big news coming as well this year. And keep an eye on that one. Flair, Cooch. Where are you, my man? Absolutely sending it over on the Flare Network. 44.83% upon the week, 25% upon the day. So if you're holding Flare, that's now a top 60 cryptocurrency. That's absolutely kind of crazy I made to think about that that move. Ronin, don't forget that gaming token as well. BitGet, that's starting to move as well. Don't forget they've partnered with Messi. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Check out that video I did. But yeah, that's kind of crazy to think that Messi's in there. Who do you go with, Binance and Ronaldo or BitGet and Messi? That's the question, isn't it? Interesting, interesting. Down the rest of it, nothing too crazy going on here. Pipe Network, we're going to talk a little bit about tonight because that is definitely something you need to be aware of. And then we'll get into a few of the bits. Jupiter breaking that top 100 as well. So it's a real switch up and change. Luna Classic on that send yesterday. I think you guys caught that. Massive push on Luna Classic. No real reason as well that I can see. No real reason why I can see. Yeah, Chili's down about 2%. Holding 1029 though, Fairground. So still a decent price. But overall, the market feels like right now uh, we might be in for a little bit of a move. And it's kind of strange that it's just sort of come out of of nowhere, really. We were sort of expecting a pretty flat trading day. And then all of a sudden, it just exploded to the downside and then did exactly the same back to the upside as well, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. But that is, I guess, why we're in this space. That is why we love it so much because because um, it's fun, isn't it? It's absolutely uh, fun to be in this space. Equally, just on the short term, just so we get a bit of a view, you can see some of the liquidity players right now on Binance and their BTC push. So look, we could see a little bit push. It's going to be much harder to go north than it is to go south. We're probably looking at support levels around 42.1. I actually have a couple of long sets to open from about 42.080 or something like that. Going to the upside though, definitely going to see a significant push. Now, if you were to say, well, we might break 43,500, 
I reckon we're in for a pretty spicy move, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, but it's got to get there. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. We might get back to 43k, maybe on the straw. We'll see how it all plays out. But yeah, this this liquidity map looking very, very interesting. If you come out onto the three day, that's where it starts to get very spicy indeed. And you start to see some of this build, you know, as an example, 145 million dollars on Binance alone, everybody. 144 million at 43 and a half thousand. So you think about where that sits. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of money out there. And I definitely say there's more liquidity for the shorts being wrecked than it is for the longs being wrecked. So keep your eye on the prize. Right. Let's break the technicals down a little bit further and uh, and kind of get into it all. Kind of get into it all. Uh, Elon Muff says, I think BSL is going to take off again. Uh, Bank Social, there we go. Elon Muff. I mean, class name. Not going to lie. Class name. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, don't forget, everybody, hit that like button. It does support the channel out. More than you would know. Another cracking day for Arc Block. Yeah, what's this? Uh, a who can tell me something more about AP? Is it AP13? I've seen loads of people talking about that. Um, I want to know a bit more about it. Feels too late on Link? Yeah, I think so. I think so. A lot of people saying it's going to be massive. I think it will be, uh, but not for me at the minute. Which I'm annoyed about because I looked at it at $9 and I didn't buy it. Um... Is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Shabs in the building. What's going on, brother? Loving life. Loving life. Hunter, loving the uh, PFP, by the way, as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Derek as well. Good to see you, pal. Oldie but goodie. Dragon Chain. More than doubled up in 10 days. Let's go. Uh, do you think there is a demand from most football fans for NFTs? World Cup showed the lack of demand. So I heard that. Um, I heard that, Holmes. I also heard there was something that went wrong with the World Cup. So obviously, Brian Dowie and I got into it. It was a bit of a kind of joke around us getting into Chili's, but I kind of feel like I heard something went wrong or some, they did something wrong or, or something. I can't remember what it was that kind of dented it. So look, it may have a chance. I guess uh, I guess it's going to be all about adoption, isn't it, for uh, football clubs? But yeah, same with Link 2 bit. Can't hit them all. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just move on. It's fine. Black Swan, yeah. I, there was definitely something. I just can't remember what it was. I can't remember what it was. So anyway, right. Let's do the technicals on Bitcoin. So interesting couple of... Um, Incredible news. Hold on a minute. Alvin's in the building. What's going on, Alvin? Everyone, I want you to say well done to Alvin. Alvin has passed his... Uh, uh, I, can't, I, I actually don't even know what the official name of it is, um, if I'm honest. Um, it's, it's some kind of mine health and safety thing. I'm really sorry, Alvin. I'm absolutely butchering this to the max. Um, but yeah, ultimately, he... Uh, he passed Mine Rescue Firefighters. That was it. I couldn't remember exactly what it was. So he passed the Mine Rescue Firefighters and passed uh, with flying colours as well. So absolutely massive shout out to you, Alvin. What a guy. Good guy. Definitely give him some love. Well done indeed. An absolute superstar. So yeah, we're all proud of you, buddy. We're all really, really proud of you, my man. So congratulations. For sure, that is not an easy thing at all. So um, I, uh, yeah, not for me. Not for me. Mind rescue? No thanks. No thanks. Mission plausible says Analus Zero. Can you look at my favorite voice, man? Uh, I can in uh, in uh, towards the end of the show. Absolutely, that's where we get to it. So yeah, all good, all good. Driving test? <laughs> Not quite. I don't think it was as hard. I don't think it was as hard. So yeah. Anyway, look, BTC. What we are getting on BTC was this push on that fifty-day exponential moving average. Good news. It came and bounced off there. We're looking for that bigger test on that two hundred exponential moving average, though. But at the same time, the volume feels pretty light. So you'd argue that I don't know what this move is. It may be manipulation. It may be a push for no real reason. Top and bottom, forty-one six fifty strong support. Forty-three nine six one strong level to potentially break through. Um, whether we'll get to that anytime soon, I'm not sure. What's good news though? Bollinger bands are tightening, which is narrowing the volatility, ultimately giving us this consolidation. Now, unfortunately, the vol the the excuse me, the consolidation is down. It's a downward trend at this minute. Uh, so we'll see how this kind of plays out when it comes to uh, the overall picture of Bitcoin. Like I said, we just get this push down here, bounced off the 50 and then bounced strongly uh, back to the upside. So we can't really argue on BTC. We'll see what this week brings. Nothing really, no big catalyst, nothing weird uh, coming this week. So look, it's just going to be a straight flat out. Do the ETF sell? Is it something they're going to do? We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But look, BTC is looking pretty decent. Coinbase, very, very similar story. ETH having a slightly better run. Still pretty bearish, though. When you look at ETH sitting under that exponential moving average, we need to see it push a little bit further to the upside. Looks like a real break above 23.11 would be a good sign for that one. XRP holding 50. 
Um, probably probably as bearish as we've got. We get the negative cross on that. Why is my phone going crazy? Why is so many people just like randomly sending me a message? Stop it. Stop it. There we go. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. XRP though, unfortunately, is in a downward trend. We'll see. Broke through a couple of key levels of support. That two, uh, 20 day uh, moving average there, just a bit of a disappointment that we see. Likewise on that MACD negative cross. So, you know, we'll see where XRP gets to. Casper, something similar um, where that kind of sits. What is that massive chopper line that's running through it? Anyone know what that is? That, is that, that can't be one of mine. Oh, it is. There we go. There we go. There's some, some massive chopper line. Was that my prediction as to what the price was going to do? So yeah, look, we want to see it test 1031. That's what we're looking for it to break back above. This is the key line on a upward trend a resistance at 1031. Uh, about 2.8% move from where we are now. So let's keep an eye on that one. Luna Classic had that big push, then a dump, then a push, then a dump. Disappointing we didn't hold the 200 exponential moving average. I thought we would. Interestingly, though, this 10-2 range bounced perfectly three times, looking for that move back to the upside. Look how wide the Bollinger Bands is. So expect real volatility right now on Luna Classic. Luna's doing the same as well. Just to give you a view, probably feels slightly better uh, than Luna Classic. Solana, AVAX, Matic. We'll talk a little bit about Matic. Why I just don't think you should be sleeping on this one. Arbitrum, the same. Shea Bones just up a little bit. Jasmine down after that pretty big rise, actually. Jasmine had a big spike up. Still sitting pretty flat, though. Tenet's on the move at 6%. Chili's we've talked a little bit about. Quant at 101. Might below, drop below 100 again, you know. Quant might be one of those that you could pick up again if you wanted to add to your moon bags. And the rest of the, you know, meme coin space not doing too much. Bonk down, Snack down, Floki Inu down, Pepe interesting the big battle pepe and pork it's a very very interesting battle that's going on i don't know who's winning if i'm honest um we'll kind of see how it all plays out but yeah look pepe still doing decent volume still doing decent price whether pork wins pepe wins really it's who knows that's kind of where i get to it all that is where i get to it all but look that's kind of where we get to the overall altcoin market just to give you a view outside with uh, all the altcoins minus bitcoin uh, gives us this view we're just holding off that 200 exponential average average the price coming in which tells us volume is down but macd cross might be coming in as well so keep an eye on it we've got a couple of interesting kind of parts that feel like they're building over on uh, quite a number of the altcoins so we'll keep an eye on it likewise the charts are looking pretty pretty flexible what do I mean by that? We've seen some big volatility over the last, what, two days? We'll see, particularly a weekend as well. So I think a lot of people are trying to buy what's coming this week. I don't believe there's any catalyst. We can just take a quick look, actually, dead quick. Um, but I'm pretty sure jobs, jobless reports was probably the only thing that might be worthwhile thinking about. Yeah, initial jobless claims coming Thursday. That's about as good as we get. Consumer credit, maybe. I don't think it makes such a big difference, to be honest. So yeah, so nothing crazy going on. Um, Nothing crazy going on this week. Next week is where we get core CPI, which ultimately will depict what inflation rate happens in March. This will be a key one as well as core CPI. And we get initial jobless claims as well. Um, so yeah, next week, going to be spicy. This week, not so much. I don't think anyway. We'll see how it all plays out. So that gives you an overall view of the market. That's kind of where we sit. Um, we'll see how that plays out this week. Going to be a pretty interesting week, I think. So do me a favor, everybody. Hit the like button. If you're brand new to the channel as well, do me a favor and subscribe. It's definitely worthwhile. Uh, Matthew Rose says, what altcoins are trending and what is the best strategy to profit from the cryptocurrency market? The best strategy, Matthew Rod, to profit from the cryptocurrency market is buy cheap and sell expensive. That is genuinely... Uh, and you might be thinking, oh, that, this guy's an absolute tosser. Why would he say that? But that's the honest answer. That is absolutely what you've got to do. The key, the question is, how do you buy cheap and how do you sell expensive? Well, you uh, you stick around and we'll tell you. Um, so yeah, that's my view. If you love the two-bit show, drop a like and a cucumber. Let's go, Shoesmith. I don't know if we need the cucumbers, though. I, I, I actually don't know if we need the cucumbers. That's just my view, by the way. Like, could we not pick something else? Like a marble or a rock or, I mean, anything that's not a cucumber. Claybro gets the cucumbers. That's surely not me. Surely not me. Uh, is Massive Chopper Line an actual trending term? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> not not, uh, not that I'm used to anyway. Not that I'm used to. Uh, <laughs> seems quite in here tonight. Yeah, it, honestly, Holmes, it's been super weird. YouTube has been a bit weird recently. I I did some videos that were just terrible. That's why I need to hit the like button. That's why I need to subscribe to the channel and do all that good stuff. So yeah, I'll see. Uh, pick up Makula too bit. Is it really? Is it sending it? Man, you picked some right bangers recently. Matt C in the building as well. It's good on Matt C. Welcome to you as always. How's the white paper coming along? Yeah, yeah, okay, in fairness. So I had, I don't know if you, I can't remember if you were here on, on, uh, on Friday, Holmes. Um, so I had, some, I had a good conversation with the contract developer who can also then link in the API for the DAP. So we'll do the same thing 
uh, with the same people, which is cool because it means it can all link in together um, as that sort of builds out. So yeah, so I'm kind of reworking and rewriting that sort of stuff, which is kind of good. So yeah, some good conversations. Like I said, like I said, there is n there's no rush to launch this token. By the way, everything everything will just work its way through. We want to do it right. We want to make sure that everything's dotted and crossed and checked and verified and done all the good stuff. You know, there's a lot at stake with this. Is this is absolutely not a it's not a pump and dump. That's that's for sure. It's a it's a journey through what it would be like to launch a token. You guys would be all part of it. You'd be as much involved or little involved you want. Who cares? Like it's absolutely, um, it's absolutely where we sit with it. The reality is though, when we launch, we want to launch right. There's so many coins, so many coins. I was looking at one earlier on actually. Who uh, I have to be careful what I say here, which has fundamentally been launched by someone with a YouTube platform, and it you know it's doing amazing and it's doing this and it's doing that and you actually look in the fundamentals of it you're like where does it go from here it's launched it hit 10k volume on the on its first you know 24 hours of trading it's got 65 holders you're like okay where does it go from here though what what's the build up what's the you know so i think anyone can launch any token they want and and if you've got a big enough following you'll get something into it what's the longevity and that's the point here isn't it we want to launch a, we want to launch a token that ultimately is good People want to buy and makes a purpose. So there's no rush for it in my world. You know, we're two, three months away from launching. That's my view. Uh, and we'll just make sure everything's right. Everything's set. Everyone will be a part of it. Everyone gets a view. Um, and then we kind of move on. So you should try and implement a five-year progression plan. Yeah, well, the roadmap, um, albeit the ones you've seen is super, super basic. We've got the new theme to the, the white paper. It's being ripped properly um, with a bit more tact to it. The view will be we kind of do a two-year plan with a view as to what comes in the next two or three years. Like I said, the, the purpose and my entire mindset around this is it has to be cyclical. Otherwise, it's not going to work, right? It's not going to work it, it, if it's not cyclical, i.e. there's a reason to continue buying the tokens. And by its very nature of what you're doing with the tokens, then uh, then you uh, you can do something with the tokens, which means you've got to buy it. That, that's the point of it being cyclical. It has to has to have a use case. Otherwise, people buy, hold, dump it on the chart, wreck it. It's it's literally like you could call it. So the gambling thing we will we will work through. Um, I have looked into it. To be honest, I have looked into it, and um, it all depends on the expectation of. Um, the expectation of returns based upon what you are speculating. And you've always got a worst case scenario. That's my view. So you could say, well, if it doesn't really do anything and it's a, you know, it's an ish project. There was a, there was a token that launched a while back called Lotto. You guys might have heard of it, um, which ultimately the premise was they take whatever taxes, go and buy lottery tickets and see if they win the lottery. Like it's kind of crazy to think about. Um, it's kind of crazy to think about anyway. Um but then you play it on worst case scenario and say, well, what happens if it does hit a $50 million market cap, uh, you know, a $100 million market cap? What happens if it becomes the next biggest token in the world? And ultimately someone goes, hold on a minute, what's going on here? You just got to be sensible, haven't we? So um, it's a bit of a minefield. I still probably sit on the fence of, I don't think it can be regulated purely based on what it is. I think the question is where the value of the token sit, does that then for deem it as winnings based upon the fact that it would be convertible back to fiat. Because ultimately, you can hold Ethereum all you want. Is that gambling? Is winning cryptocurrency gambling? I don't know. That's the that's the question I've got to work through. But look, it's a good point, Holmes. Keep us honest. Do you know what I mean? That we've got to work through all these bits and nuts and bolts. And that's why everyone just needs to have a view and not be super tri super tri like super triggered about the views. And equally, let's not trigger views. Does that make sense? Okay. I think I've got my point. Um, I reckon Holmes wants, won't join the TG because he's been banned from it for some dodgy shit. No one's been banned from the TG. The only person that got banned from the TG was the person that called me out on the TG. They did get... Well, they didn't get banned. They just got removed. It's got removed because... Um, yeah. Don't... It's like... I always say this, isn't I? If there's a big red button, don't tell me not to push the big red button because the first thing I would do is press the big red button. Like, it's as simple as that. Do not tell me not to press the button because I'll press it. Um, so there we go. There we go. Right. Anyway, both channels at the light. Let's go, Fairground. Let's go. Nearly 70 people in here, as always. We appreciate you guys. Right. Good news as well. It's Sunday, which means I don't have to put any NFTs in. Yay. Which makes my life easier. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. Honestly, Tim, literally, like, I just can't help myself. I cannot help myself. Do not 200x. Where's my phone? <laughs> I definitely would do a 200x as well, especially if it's on a small bit. Like, it's fine, isn't it? Just don't go too weird with stuff. But yeah, I can't help myself. Can't help myself. 
if someone's like, don't do that, it's, it is like one of the most difficult things to not do it. Come on, really? Everyone's going to be like, all right, yeah, fine. Not at all. I'm just like, yep. I'm just going to press this. I'm just going to press it. It's absolutely fine. Right, Tooch, good to see you, man. Just checking I haven't put you already in. I don't think I have. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, dot 200x, 10 grand. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> that is definitely not a thing. Ecabella, as always. Uh, like those experiments with kids, putting cake in front of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would literally, though, just eat the cake. That's fine. I'd have my cake and eat it, bro. You know it is. You know it is. <laughs> yeah, might as well, though, 420. I mean, imagine, the thing is, if you if you do it and get it, you know, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? Oh, why did I delete those people then? Hooch. Who else did I just delete then? River Matsy. Who did I just delete? Shabs. Shabs, it was you. It was you. Right, let's do it. Let's get into it. 52 people ready to rock and roll. Have your cake and yeet it. What's everyone's go-to two-bit live snack? I love that question. Love that question. I just had some uh, had some malted milk, chocolate malted milks. Two of them, cup of tea. Hey, that's a life. People are missing out if you don't do that. Right, 52. Bots. Finito. Let's go. Kick that chunky. Nice. I like it. I like your style. Eggs. Fairground. Really? Thank you, two-bit. Black. I mean, I, I just don't... I'm just going to call you ETF. It's easier. Because I struggled with the other one anyway. Salted caramel Twix. Pff, get the hell out of here. Is that even a thing? No way. No way. What's going on, GS? Good to see you, pal. Salted caramel Twix. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Unless the weekend, then it's a Guinness and a whiskey. <laughs> uh, pot noodle sandwich. Right, okay. I'm going to tell you something here, guys. Um, I once came back from a evening uh, in the town uh, with some friends. And uh, there was nothing in the house. I actually had a couscous sandwich. What I can tell you is it was the worst sandwich I've ever eaten in my entire life. I absolutely and unequivocally do not recommend a couscous sandwich. It is the worst thing in the world. All right. Just to let you guys know, if ever you're at home and you're hungry and you've got a bag of Ainsley Harriet couscous, two slices of bread, and you think, man, this could be a great sandwich. It's just not. It's so not. It's awful. Awful. Magic Gray gets in. Do you mate looking at the chair, sir? Anna Lawson Solana. I will. I will. Mission possible. We're looking at the end. We're going to get into a few of the bits. There we go. Sam Bad, Pat, 420 Fairground, Tim Shane, Lee G. Rounding out the top 10. So congratulations. Why would you eat? Yeah. Well, I didn't know it was nasty at the time. I just ate it because I was hungry. Uh, but terrible. Terrible. Right. Anyway, top cryptocurrencies for February that I think you need to keep your eye on. I'm going to do slightly different. Pyth Network. Now, Pyth Network is... Uh, and quite a few, I think some of you guys are already in this. I've kind of looked at it a few times. Haven't got in any yet, but really starting to think about, okay, what happens in the bull market? What happens when the market flips and everybody starts filtering into cryptocurrency? What am I going to look at? What's the coin I'm going to go to? Where am I going to buy outside of some of the top tier ones? Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of those. Well, Pipe Network, I think is going to be one of those that I feel, um, based on what it's doing and how it's doing it, could shock some people. So ultimately, what does Pipe do? Ultimately tracks price data or just data in general is probably the best um the best part 450 points of information that comes into it if you take um you take coin market cap as an example that's updated every like so many minutes i think it is um more biscuits that's a granddad thing yeah they're nice though mate honestly put them in the fridge nice and cold mate in your tea belt in um, so yeah, Pipe Network, ultimately, native token recorded occasional price spikes that contribute to its bullish end of the week. Token began the week amid a price slump of that 39 cents at the current 37.99. However, we expect a big move. The face resistance at the 44.57, steep correction. So you're getting it at a bargain right now. It is listed on Binance as well as many other cryptocurrencies. And like I said, it's pulling a significant amount of data to bring it to one place and build out. So you could argue that it is... Like I said, with XRP, it's one tweet away from going to the moon. You could argue that people could integrate into Pipe to use it on their platforms to then absolutely bring you the most up-to-date and most accurate price data, supply data, and everything else you could want. So then you start to think, okay, where could this go? Does this mean that the platforms will start to use it? Does it mean it will get integrated into something like one inch or any deck swaps because of how it's pulling data and ultimately what it's going to do? So Pyth, I think, is definitely 100% worthwhile taking a look into it. If you look at where it is as well from a... Um, oh, 
from a trading perspective and everything else, it feels like it's still got some legs to grow. So currently um, doing $153 million, $741 million market cap. So again, very, very interesting as you start to look into it and what it could potentially do. And I still think there is some more to go. Listed on a lot of the big exchange, you will see one name that is missing. That would be Coinbase, which obviously could drive a significant amount over there. So if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend looking at Pyth. I think it's going to be a good one, not only for the month of February, but I definitely think longer term as well, given what it's doing, how it's doing it, worthwhile keeping an eye out on. Right, Chainlink. Again, as Tim and I have just sort of half discussed, I do think we've missed the boat a little bit on Chainlink. I'm just going to be honest. I think we missed it. I would wait for a correction. Does it correct? Possibly. Where that correction is, I don't know. Um, could be soon. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, Chainlink, I think, remember, it's the ecosystem that just has everything else attached to it. You can see a number of chains that all bridge into Chainlink and ultimately what it's going to do as we start to build out into a bull run. So definitely keep an eye on Chainlink. I think there's way more to it. Like I said, though, I do think it's probably, you could maybe make a small amount. $20 is probably the next point on the shopping list for Chainlink. But I would say it's still slightly overpriced. Um, given its recent market moves. So I think you get an opportunity to get it cheaper if you just wait a little bit more. They also have more stuff coming and ultimately broke the top 10 earlier on with a 27% rise in the last seven days, which is kind of crazy to think about and equally can link everything else to it as well. Established players, Tron, Cardano, followed sweet and moderate increase to 5.6 per three. Ultimately, Avalanche Solana are down a little bit. So, yeah, Link was an absolute monumental move. 27%, 14.37, strong move up to $18.20. So, keep your eye on that one for sure. Right. Polygon Matic. I want to talk a little bit more about Matic. So, I've been talking about this now for a while. And I am truly in a world where, yeah, Link is, yeah, I agree, Holmes, well. I'm, I'm in a world where I think Matic is going to be a big deal. I'm going to show you why I think it's going to be a big deal. Just a second. So remember, Matic is a layer two Ethereum solution. Ultimately, has been building out, has humongous partnerships uh, that have built into it and ultimately will be, I think, a big, big player in this coming year. Why? Everyone is talking about layer two solutions. Layer two solutions is going to be the big thing, right? Big thing. You can see a lot of these layer twos on their base, Arbitrum, OP, Mainnet, Metis. Um, and these are all different types, different types of um, of layer twos that you can get. They do slightly different things, as an example. Um, you take something like zero knowledge rollups. Ultimately, what does that do? It takes all the transactions, bundles them all together and puts them through at once rather than it being continuous. Um, optimistic rollups do exactly the same. Side chains obviously run slightly, um, run off that... Um, run off the main chain and, and, you know, kind of try and spread out what's going on through it, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, some big players in there. Scroll's apparently going to be massive. Loopring's going to be a huge one this year. We'll keep an eye on it. What do you notice, though? What do you notice about all of these? Well, you see in zero knowledge rollups, ultimately, sidechains, validums, Polygon is there. Matic are bridging across three different layer twos. Layer twos are going to be huge this year. They really are. There's a massive uh, airdrop coming on Scroll, I believe. Starknet, I think, has got another big airdrop coming down as well. ZK Sync has um, tons of stuff coming out there. Arbitrum, we obviously talk about in terms of what that looks like. There's a massive airdrop coming on Arbitrum as well. So, But Matic sits on three of the big layer two ecosystem chains or side chains if you want to call it that uh, where all these sit through so they can bridge multiple avenues they can unlock multiple aspects of what they're doing they seem to be able to you know morph and diversify into loads of different parts and that's why for me matic is a big big deal because i just think it can be in so many so much wide use case and ultimately therefore can get into many many different things the speed and cheapness of it don't forget that ethereum upgrade is going to come as well which is going to be interesting because that's going to push potentially and the rumor i'm hearing by the way is up to anything up to a hundred x on cheap fees so we'll cut the cost of fees on ethereum by up to 100x which would be crazy if you think about some of these layer twos you are going to be competitive in the market with something like solana avax and many many others while at the same time having the custody of of ethereum sitting behind you so very very interesting matic sits perfectly within that network and ultimately how that's all been built out so i think matic just you need to keep an eye on it we've talked about it a lot 78 cents 
feels like it's pretty cheap. Now, when you go to see what Matic did all-time high, I don't know if anyone knows off the top of their head. I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. Um, all-time high on Matic was uh, $2.92 back in December 27th, 2021. So top of the 2021 bull run was at 2.87. So even if you were to argue and say, well, you know, we expect the market to probably do a 3 to 5x. Well, you're looking at them potentially a $6, $7 Matic you know, seven or eight dollars. Now, would I ape every single bit of my portfolio into Matic? Probably not. Here's the thing, though, you need to be aware of. There are some that are going to perform exceptionally well and some that aren't. Solana, I've talked about a number of times, I think is going to be a monster in this forthcoming bull run. I, I really do think Solana is going to be epic. And equally, if you were in at eight dollars, you're going to make a significant amount. You're not going to make crazy gains, though. Crazy gains are going to come out of something like Casper. Crazy gains are going to come out of those, those coins, those cryptocurrencies, that are low in price that have massive upside. So Pyth would be another one that you would say, well, okay, what do I put a price target on Pyth? Bearing in mind it's at 49 cents. Do you say, well, that could easily be $10? Well, all of a sudden, then I'm talking about, you know, 20X on that as an example. So, um, so yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree, Holmes. Hunter, Matix, yeah. Matic's a great coin. Tons and tons of massive partnerships. And here's the thing. What do we know when bull runs kick in? FOMO kicks in for whoever it is. You know, we see kind of craziness coming out of it. We see celebrities buying in stupid m monkey NFTs and all the rest of it. So yeah, we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see how it all plays out, but certainly going to be one to keep an eye out on for sure. So there will be my three. And then finally, Ripple. Now, Ripple could I have $1 by the end of the month, giving its bullish signs. Now, this is incredibly, incredibly uh dividable i think is i think that's technically a i think that's technically a term dividable divisible i'm not sure um why because people think it's done people think it's going to go to the moon that's the reality of where we sit with xrp i think while ever we have this overwhelming um movement towards these court cases it's always going to be a bit of a struggle we're never going to see this gigantic breakout but in the long run in the long run i am in a world where i think uh divisive di div how do you say it though defining I want, yeah, I want it to be, it's div divisive. It's not divisive, is it, though? That's not the right word. It's not the right, it's not the right word, I don't think. Defining, no, uh, <laughs> it's 2024, English is too long. Divided, divided is the right word, I think. I think, I think, I think the, the, the divide, I think divided is actually the correct term for plural and singular. I, I'm not sure, maybe not. We don't seem to have the XRP fascination in chat today. Uh, words with two bit divisible divisible edward vincent come on let's go bro let's go um yeah so ultimately therefore we see a potential move now on the elliot waves i'm not claiming i know what the hell they are but ultimately an elliot wave pattern points towards a possible bullish wave this is kind of what we see at the bottom here further adding to the optimism outlook on the macd bullish crossover on the daily time frame a technical indicator also associated with upward momentum so again that macd cross that we talk about um, with a number of different factors so look we'll see i think nothing happens until the court case remember february the 16th February the 16th feels like the first um, the first kind of important one. February the 12th, excuse me. February the 12th, Remedies Briefing begins March 13th. The SEC files its Remedies Brief. And then April 12th, Ripple submits its opposition. And then April 29th, the SEC replies. So again, we'll see how that plays out. I think April 29th as well is where we potentially end up in court as that would kind of play out based upon the sales of XRP on the secondary market. So look, all in all, I think there's three great coins within there. I chucked in one more, which would be Chainlink. But I do think Chainlink is probably slightly expensive based on where the market is right now. If you, however, believe the market is only going up from now, the market's going to completely send from today, well then buy, because the reality is you're not going to be left out. The risk is that it isn't. The risk is that we still have some catalysts that are going to bring us back down. Be Ricky, good to see you, pal. Why is in the building as well? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you as always. Um, you know, that's kind of the risk you always take and the play that you've got to make um, that rhymed, actually. So, yeah, we'll see. I think there's definitely some opportunities, though. The key bit, the key bit is getting into some of these more fringe tokens, but I would argue some of these more utility-based ones. I think so. Uh, slow scale two in it to link if doing so. Yeah, I don't think it'd be a bad thing to have a little bag of link. I, I don't think it would be a bad thing at all. Um, I do think. Well, you guys know what I've been stacking, so I've I've amassed a pretty nice bag of AVAX. 
I think the 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 risk we have a little bit of uh, the, a little bit of a risk with AVAX. Probably Solana's the same. Is does the hype die down on them now? Well, if we have meme coins and stuff going over, that's going to support it for sure. Uh, indivisible and just for all. <laughs> top five low caps at two bit. Uh, top five low caps. Man, what would I say those would be? Um, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it. I'm trying to think what I've bought recently that I'm just kind of sitting and chilling on thinking, yeah, these are going to be great coins. Great coins. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Uh, we pledge our allegiance to flag of the United States of America. I mean, I can't. I can't do that, but yeah. Timothy, I would like to get 50,000 tokens of XRP, XLM and XDC. Nice. Yeah, XLM, a lot of people are starting to build out for sure. Um... One of the best man, uh, best metrics to look for in the crypto space is always use case. If it solves a fundamental problem, Link does so. Rose is another with a great use case that fills the void. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. You'll always, especially if you're looking for longevity, you know, the, is there a space for, um, is there a space for mean coins? Of course there is. It's cultural, isn't it? It's one of those things, but... I've been staking Kulo on top of Kulo. Cooch, we'll take a look at that in a minute. DeFi is coming in just a second. We're going to get the race number two out of the way. And then, boy, we're going to get into DeFi. In fact, we're going to do it now. I want it all. DeFi, I want it all. DeFi. Imagine if I pressed the button. That's what happened. I want it all. And I want Tron now. <laughs> Gala will pump. I think Gala's set. There's a couple of good games coming out. The only thing Gala's got a risk or got to make sure that it doesn't lose is it becomes a has been rather than the one so i'm pleading to my pockets <laughs> it's not a bad shout not a bad shout i fear edged marble this last week Ooh, uh, flat edge marble okay yeah fiat what people are so stupid if they think xrp is done yeah i agree I agree. This market's nowhere near like moving yet this is the crazy thing i think a lot of people a lot of people saw this push and you kind of get the whole well we're done we're done. That's kind of it. Not going to do anything else. But, you know, that's where people just get dominated, is my view. So, anyway, with that being said, let's do it. Let's get it. 56 people ready to rock and roll. Don't forget, everybody, hit the like button. 72 people in here. As always, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. We do appreciate you tuning in, as always. Gala has, like, 200 games. Uh, needs adoption. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Classy's, like, all of a, uh, all of a Gala games, in fairness. So, I know Influ talks to projects every week, and even they will tell you that most projects are run by complete morons. Billion mark cap does not indicate otherwise. Also, your own Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. You like? I mean, some tokens. And uh, Michael maybe is not here, but look at Mononoke as an example. Right? Mononoke is a perfect example of of. Uh, I don't even know what it's. A, I don't even know what it's an example of. So it came out, ran up to the most ridiculous mark cap in the world on the basis that it was going to bring a game out, and People are still buying that thing. People are aping like an ETH into that thing. Like, I mean, what? It's been like two years and they haven't brought a game out. Mononoke Inu is not going to launch a game. Like, come on, really? Really? I keep hearing that XRP is a stable coin. I wish there was action on the project to debate this. Yeah, the, the, I think the reason people say that is because of the singular price movement. I mean, in interestingly, the escrow, 600 million came out, 800 million went back in. That's kind of interesting. Was that Chris Larson's XRP? I don't know, maybe. Cutting edge graphics, you know it's yeah, <laughs> Mononoke. It was almost as bad as Wolfcaster on Satama, wasn't it? Awful, awful. Holmes is why I say Jonathan Samblonski is likely the smartest person in crypto behind most of the biggest innovations in crypto. There we go. Ekabella with a big win. So did Mr. ETF himself. Stu Stanton, Chu Smith, Pokemon, OBJ, Sambab, Alvin, and Waddy. Sneaking in with some points there right at the very end. Right. Let's do it. Let's get into DeFi. See what the heck is going on over here. See which is pumping out of its mind. Interestingly, lots of Solana coins still going crazy. See anything that's interesting. See anything that people want to look at. You know the deal. The next kind of 15, 20 minutes, it's a question and answer while taking a look at DeFi. Uh, I will say again, I know more about XRP than I can say. I will get in big trouble if I tell you. Just keep buying. There we go. Go says it. Go says what's up. Valentine's Day coming up. What are you guys doing for your other half? Uh, she's getting her nails done. That's pretty much, that's it. And I think I'm going to work. <laughs> Stupid currently he is uh, completely rebuilding smart contracts to be MEV resistant on Casper. Yeah, yeah, the MEV bots. I, the, we were talking about this the other night um, where people were getting like super arsy about some uh, token holders 
having tokens pre-launch. Yeah, it's crap. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense and ultimately lacks trust. But why do people not kick off about MevBots? I mean, come on, really? They're absolutely destroying networks. They're the single biggest causer of, you know, gas fees out there. It's almost ridiculous to think about. So anyway, that's my view. That's my view. When are you going to get your nails done? Pfft, mate, you want to see my nails. Workers' nails, mine. Trashed. Not doing anything on Valentine's Day watching 2-Bit Show. Yeah, you know it. We'll be live. We'll be here. Be here. Not doing anything else. Not doing anything else. Uh, you make me want to pull it all and it's happy. <laughs> if I win, buy me a bag of Marbits. Got you. It doesn't launch yet. Months away. Months away. Right. Anyway, let's take a look at what's going on in DeFi and then we'll get into it. So Pork still moving. Uh, volume is significantly down. We'll see where this one goes to. It's moving up slightly and slowly. Um, has it got more legs to do? Don't know. We'll see. Obviously, Pepe did something similar, but Pepe was much slower than Pork. Um, is it going to push? I don't know. I don't know. It's a big, um, it's a big test right now. It looks like it might do, I, you know, who knows if I'm honest, I'm, uh, I'm holding it. We'll see what it does. It may or may not move. I mean, it's moved a little bit in the last 24 hours. If it can hold this price range, we might start to see a little bit more movement to the upside. Kind of feel like Polly might do something with it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Compact down homes about 3.6. Nothing to worry about. Invest AI. That took another little hit. $167,000 market cap. Just under 40k in liquidity, so hold is about 250. So we want to see this reversal start to push again. I'd be interested, obviously, with that Advantis AI uh, AMA. What is it? Someone tell me what it is. I can't remember. Is it tonight? Tomorrow night? Is it tomorrow night? Uh, forget the court case. I will say this: they will pay the fines and move on. There we go. Hope you knows it doesn't do anything in 2027. I will rethink things. Yeah, I always felt XRP was just a CBDC in disguise. Ooh. Digital Audio likes him some Flair. Yeah, Flair was Flair's looking uh, crazy. 11 p.m. tomorrow. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, Flair was looking pretty crazy. Uh, Wagby Games, 2.2 down. Compat, uh, must have just had a buy. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, 3136. Dojalon Mars. Do we even care about this anymore, by the way? Anyone care about this? Uh, did Elephant migrate to a V2? I sent your message back on, on Telegram. I don't know anything about it. I don't think so. And if it did, I don't know anything about it. But I don't think so. Elephant token. This is the one we always looked at. So, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think so. If I'm honest, I mean, these are all buys coming in today, um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Paul is insane. It's like dealing with a, but yeah, I mean, yeah, he's an absolute lunatic. In fairness, but yeah, maybe it was a scam on the TG. Yeah, I, I definitely aren't aware of any. My, this, I don't think they would migrate. That would be that would be mental if they migrated. I can message a, I can message one of the dev developers and say so. Uh, I still have my damn Elon debating if I should just eat it and sell. Oh, uh, Dojo on Mars. Yeah, well, one five nine nine current price on that one. So yeah, not doing too much. Still had ninety k in volume though. But yeah, I mean. It's not looking great. Advanced AI, just down a little bit. Z3 down a little bit as well. Block up 0.3, good news. Uh, PMPY up about 0.5. That's at 14.60. Uh, if anyone is in this, I don't know if you guys are. Interesting uh, project. Still holding pretty solidly at that top end. Uno Dex on the move. Don't sleep on this one. I told you guys about this one before. Check out the video that I've done. I know Wadi, Daniel Gate, and a few others are all uh, working with this team. It's a great Dex. It really is a great Dex. It just needs some volume. And I think we'll see something pretty exciting. If you want to buy Hex, like I said, get on over there. If you're in the US, one of the only places, if not the only place, you can buy Hex right now using Uno Dex. And then you can get rewards and many, many other things. So check it out. Go and see that video. There is a link uh, that you can click on and head on over there. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend having a look at that. And then Sky Token uh, migrated, obviously, to AVAX is absolutely excuse me, on a rampage up nearly 51%. Broke its all-time highs earlier on, but yeah, it's some good, good amounts. Um, not far off, 1692 and starting to really build out on Sky. So yeah, check these guys out as well. We've talked about them on the channel. They migrated to a AVAX. If anything, makes me kind of a little bit more uh, open to this possibility of doing something on AVAX. Um, what is interesting, you can write with Solidity code on AVAX, which is easier. Obviously, I'm not writing the contract, so it doesn't really matter to me, but... Um, yeah, AVAX, I was very much not against, uh, sorry, I was very much against it. Maybe not so much now. I'm kind of not in the, I'm not bothered about it place. It's kind of all right. It's kind of all right, but yeah, looking good as well over on there. So, right, that's that. So, any questions, anything you want to talk about, anything that's on your minds, do please shout it in the chat. Likewise, if you want to take a look at the token, uh, shout out as well. And then, as always, let me know what you think of the show, if you could. Slightly different one. We haven't really gone through the news. Just kind of talked about a few things here. I wish we would use Matic 2-bit. Really? Oh, cool. Cool. 
Kulo. If we haven't looked at this, what Cooch were buying. Um, Jupiter, yeah, we can take a look at this. Yeah, Kulo, what, are, you saying, are you saying a big reversal coming in, Cooch? Is that where you are? Scarlet Dawn's in the building. What's going on, Scarlet? Long time no see. Welcome back. Uh, what is or what is on Uno Dex and Skypath? Nice. Let's get it, Waddy. Let's get it. Jupiter, we'll take a look at that. Yeah. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Solana is the only choice. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I mean, we put a vote up. Solana, Avax, Matic, or Ethereum. <laughs> Build on Ethereum. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Bull market. Everyone, no one cares about paying $100 for microtransactions. Uh, how long until break even on the Casper miners at current price? Um, we can take a look at the... We need to take a look at the wallet and see what's in the wallet. Can you remember? Do you remember CryptoJ? Oh, my God. I forgot. I forgot I deleted all these kind of things. Okay, let me... Um, let me just dead quickly just go down here, get this. Did I write it down? Imagine I didn't write it down. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Uh, did I write it down? Have you got it? Have you got it, Crypto J? I'm only, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Let's have a look and see what's in there. That's the honest answer, isn't it? So you can't, you guys can't see that screen, can you? While I'm typing this. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine imagine that that would be ridiculous wouldn't it uh, no you never gave it to me it shows how much I trust you <laughs> you trust me mate There's, uh, you've got more hardware at your house than what's in this wallet I'm pretty sure of that I'm pretty sure of that. Boom, 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 boom. Hold on a minute. I'm, I've, I've missed one. Oh, there. That's what I missed. I was f just for a split second there, I was thinking... Sugar, I might have, uh, I might have lost this seed phrase, which would have been an absolute disaster. Um, there we are. It's fine. <laughs> imagine, imagine that would have been an absolute cataclysmic disaster. <laughs> Right, here we go then. There is the wallet. Good news, we're all in. 8,882 Casper is currently what's in that uh, wallet. Uh, what does that work out at? 8,892. What's the price currently? Anyone? Casper is at 10 cents. So yeah, like just under 900. But we have some somewhere else. Where's the other? You've got it, haven't you, Crypto J? What's in the wallet you've got? Do it, maybe get some Caspian set up for it. I'm down. I'm down. Elephant Ellie token. What? Do you think they will keep doing it before they... Do you think they keep doing it because it didn't show up? Any news on Psych? I've been a bit out of the loop. Um, just heading the Telegram, that's what I would say. Just be in the Telegram. It got there was a there was some scam stuff happening on it, but jump with the telegram. That's where it all is. That's my view. Loving the show, but unfortunately have to go for the day. Ah, oh, Joyce, no problems. Thank you so much, ever. So we're here. So yeah. So we're probably what? We're probably at current price, maybe another three months away from maybe paying it paying off. I kind of feel like it is. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, that has the solar blocks in it. You can check the difference. That's fine. Yeah. So that's where we sit then. So just under nine thousand. Just under 9,000. So, yeah, we're probably like two or three months away, yeah. Um, yeah. Probably probably about two or three months away. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, well, like I said, Kulo, um, I, don't, I, I just don't know about building on Matic, if I'm honest. I just don't know about building on Matic, for sure. Um, Caspium, yeah, do we should do that. We should take a look at it. Can we mine Caspium as well? I'm not even sure if we can. Actually, I'm not sure if we can. Um... Yeah, not by the way it breaks down. No, no, that's the point, isn't it? That it's a it's a longer term thing. Why not Matic? I, I I have no opinion why not, Tim. I have no opinion why not at all. I don't know anything about 
Ma this is Matic, isn't it? I don't even know about building contracts on it. I, I don't know anything about it, to be honest. Um, what is the con what do you write contract in? So it's Solidity. Oh, so it's similar to Ethereum then, like oh, it's an Ethereum layer too, isn't it? Of course it is. So yeah, I mean we could do. I mean, we could do. We could do. We could do Solana. So I don't know what's a, what is an average transactional cost on Cooler. Oh my God, what's going on? What's the average transactional cost on Matic? What's the cheapest? To be, I honestly think you should go proof of work. Um. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one cent. So is that so that's more expensive than? Hold on a minute. Let's just let's just see what it is. Cheapest transaction fees in. I mean, one cent's nothing, is it? I mean, no one's going to care about that. So let's see. Um, eight cheapest crypto transfer in 2024. That doesn't help. That actually doesn't help. Litecoin. Litecoin's not cheap. Get the heck out of here. What? What? Uh, I'm trying to find where... I just want a, I just want a chart, that, like a graph that tells me, like, what's cheap. Hold on a minute. Let me just find images. It'd be easier, won't it? easier uh that doesn't help average transaction fee oh this might be a good one actually copy image this one, this one, might, be, this one might work uh so when was this done so i don't, I don't know what it, i guess it gives us i guess it gives us context that will probably be for sure that gives us context doesn't it uh i'm not sure proof of work is best for a project like this yeah i, I i'm i'm yeah I'm not, I'm not sure either to be honest sent two links to, uh to your message on x mate chain factory ama tomorrow advantage is on thursday okay brother uh, I would build on Flare, mate. Oh my god, everyone's just like throwing different chains out. Flare is cheap. Well, so that's where we get to right now. So Arbitrum, that's that's obviously a lot of the layer twos. So where is so Matic is super cheap, by the way. So actually, Matic arguably is cheaper than Solana. Avalanche is the cheapest. Interesting. You want cheaper and hype? Sol fits the bill on both fronts. Yeah, I think. I mean, in fairness, any of these does, doesn't it? Solana, Matic, it, Avalanche, they're all the hot chains right now that you know that people are kind of i guess building on that we could be worthwhile looking at so um yeah yeah we'll see i mean the the original contract was built in solana these two are dead easy because the solidity out there so it's not the end of the world to build in in matic or avalanche to be honest we can learn but we want to chain people all we use true true um we'll have to put it to a vote I just, we just need to decide pretty quickly though, because like the contract people are gonna get it, I get pretty pissed. But just keep going. Ah, yeah, yeah. I know you've done it on Solana, but can, can we do it on Avalanche? I mean, in fairness, Matic and Avalanche aren't the biggest deal, but uh, Matic might be best. I guess the, the question isn't necessarily the question is not necessarily if it's easier or not. The question is, is it easy to buy on Matic? That's the question, right? That is the question. Is it easy to buy on Matic? How do you buy on Matic? What do you use? And as an average investor, bear in mind, Ethereum's dead easy, I can do it. That's what we've got to ask. Is it easy to buy with Solana? Is it easy to buy with AVAX? And I actually think it's quite difficult to buy with AVAX, by the way, because Trader Joe's is garbage. Um, just my view. The chain's fine. Trader Joe's is crap. Or is it easier to buy with um, with uh, with Solana? So Solana, Matic, or um, AVAX. I used to swap a polygon was very easy and cheap. There we go. Nice. What did you, what did, I don't even know what you use. Like, I, I don't think I've done any sort of swap on, on, um, thing. ETH is, uh, like taxes that you don't want to pay, but you must. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Any swap or quick swap. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Art right, Caffeine, what's going on, brother? Welcome to you. Don't forget, everybody, hit the like button. Hit the like button. There's definitely some people that have, uh, that's, that have left the stream. Maybe didn't tell me they were leaving, though. I'm trying to leave their marble in. Get the hell out of here. And uh, an Outer Circle Trader says, planning to stake on Ava. Nice. Nice. Legrand commissions here as well. What's going on, Legrand? Good to have you. Uh, plus wallet fees. We're moving USDT at 0.00 for me on Polygon. Nice. I feel Sol might be the best for the target audience you are trying to aim at. Yeah, th look, I I've said this all, all along. It needs to feel, originally, you've got to, you've got to think of this, take, a, take every bit of emotion out of this, right? Take every bit of emotion out of it. Because ultimately, if it doesn't get volume, we get nothing, right? That's that's just fact. We can launch it. You guys can all buy in. You know, I've committed I will not buy in, but I'm going to fund the liquidity pool, etc. If no one buys into it, we've got nothing, right? Nothing. 
it'll just be like, well, that was a waste of time. Um, and we've just spent God knows how much money getting it all right. But so it needs to launch, I think, with an element of memeness to it, just because it will drive an adoption and, and volume, and then it'll slowly build into utility. That's the key here. It's not going to be one or the other. We launch with utility, with a view of a meme coin volume driver. That's what we want. People buying and selling and buying and selling. And then the utilities will then form and build on the back of it. That's kind of what we want, really. That's what we want, rather than just it be like, a, we're going to launch this most really complicated project with massive dApps and APIs and God knows what else that we could throw in it. And it all links to the channel and it all gets super weird. Da, da, da. Ultimately, we just need to get volume running through it because volume unlocks everything. I can see you, right, Caffeine. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. got to be fun. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be fun. It's got to have a purpose. Everything has to be evolved around how you make it deflationary, but deflationary through people doing transactions. That's in my mind, because that's where I think it'll be different and unique than other tokens. We won't just burn tokens. There's no burn tax, no nothing. It will be about putting, and we've said, haven't we? And I was reading something, um, something called Swapless Dex selling or something like that is called swapless decks oh, so in the minute and we talked a little bit about this before and I'm, I'm getting a bit off topic here let me just bring the bitcoin job um a little bit off topic so so generally speaking on a lot of contracts um i'm trying to think of one that may have it on or may have it not it's just z3 might have it i can't remember what they do so ultimately you'll have seen this before so yeah here, here's um that's not a good example actually Here's probably some examples here. So you can see these 3B, 3BFO, 3BFO, right? So generally what you get is what they call spot liquefying a contract. So ultimately it'll pull the amount of tokens from taxes and then every now and then it sells it sells and it'll sell it onto the, it'll sell it on the contract, take the liquidity back out, right? That's kind of what it does, right? It's a really common thing to do. Swapless ultimately does it all the time. It continually sells the small amount of tokens and pulls what it gets, right? It pulls the amount and then sends that. So you don't get this big dump red candle on it, which I think is much, much better. Um, much, much better in fairness. So much, much better. So yeah, we'll see. Ask yourself, what would Levi do excluding rug in it? Yeah, I'm still waiting for Fire Token to do some. I actually messaged the developer the other day. I did message back, so that's good news. Good news. I spoke to a couple of Casper developers about the potential to launch on Casper. I wouldn't be massively, as long as it's simple and easy to use, you've got to understand the target audience is people that just want to enjoy cryptocurrency, not avid investors and holders. Is Marbit's going to be a top 10 cryptocurrency? Let's just face it, no. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's, it is, because the reality is it, it absolutely is not going to be anywhere near that. But look, it might do okay. It might do okay. Uh, Jermaine says, Tibet Crypto, I've been watching you for a while. I wanted to ask... What are the steps to participate in the crypto airdrops? Do you mean just in general? How do you get into a crypto airdrop, or do you mean something to do with the channel? To be, you can literally launch on anything, and that brings into brings it, um, then bring it to Casper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we just bridge over to Casper. I think. Look, I think the debate is: do we launch Solana, Matic, or Avax? We'll see. But could Marbles get a few mil market cap? That would be good. Yeah. Look, I think it could easily do a few a few million. hundred percent. It could do. It could do ten million. Of course, it could. Of course it could. You've got to think about it, right? You've got to think about it. It If there feels like there is a use case, it's got a good community, which is you guys that sit around it, and it it is legal, all right? I'm not saying I'm launching anything illegal, by the way, but it, but it's legal and it can be regulated, then why wouldn't it be a success? Why wouldn't it be a success? Um, is it going to do $100 million in volume? No, it's not, because it probably is not, but... Whoa, two bit. It may get top 10. You never know. I mean, it, I mean, if I, I do probably know to be honest, but yeah, we'll see. One of the devs is actually excited about you bringing it across to Casper. I'm look, I'm down hundred percent. What the, the, the important thing here is that we do it as a educational experiment, isn't it? That's the view, right? There's no guarantees of gains here. There's nothing. You may put your money in and you may lose it, right? That's the honest answer. That's where we sit. What you want though, is it won't get rugged, right? I will not rug the project. Absolutely not. If if it doesn't work, I'd like to think that if I've put 10 grand into it, I could get some back out um, ultimately, you know, but I think, um, look, we'll just work it through. There's no agenda for me. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's kind of where I get to with it. So, Would like a rough idea on how many people would stick in. Yeah. Thing is, everyone could say, well, yeah, I'll do it. Doesn't mean they will. Doesn't mean they will. And don't forget, you can get any volume. I was looking at so here's another project that was uh, that was launched by a YouTuber. 
J5, Johnny Five. I don't know if you know him. He is called. Oh, why can't I think of his name? Come on. Crypto Millie. Crypto Millie launched this one, right? Crypto Millie launched this one. Ultimately, I think it's quite meme 0% in, 0% out. It's done 8K volume. It's got 68 holders, $1.3 million market cap. Market cap's easy to get, by the way. You just have less tokens and less supply. Ultimately, though, where does it go to? That's the point. BSC, where is it going to go to? This is the first day of launch. You know, it's doing okay for a 24 hour volume. 8K, that's it. Actually, well, what does that look like? 8K tomorrow. Bear in mind, Pork did. 85 million on its first day, second day, 54, third day, 15 million. Where's this going? This could be 2K by. Then it's done, isn't it? Volume is everything. Volume is everything. How long is a lot of liquidity for? Is that interest? I don't even know. Uh, 45 months, fair play to you. So, yeah. Um, a slick, appealing website will be important. Yep, I agree. I absolutely agree. Uh, make it look cool, easy to buy, and it should all be okay. With yeah, we'll get the website properly done. By the way, thank you, Crypto Storm. Yeah, the website needs because the website will have to have the the uh, DAP and everything else on it. Um, which ultimately, then, if people are connecting their wallet to a DAP, that has to be audited. Da 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 da. You get the point. You get the point. What I would say though is the team that are building the contract, the team I've been speaking to about building the DAP and everything else, same team, super good team, super clever, know what they're doing, very, 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 very good team as well. Done a lot of good stuff in this space, so yeah, I was excited. Crypto Millie was selling that one. I think it's his project. I'm pretty sure. It, it, I'm pretty sure it's Crypto Millie's project. Um, yeah, I need to know more before my investment amount is determined. Yeah, look, hundred percent. And like this, this is my point, by the way with probably at best case scenario three months away at best right at best three months away um i know that you know because we want to do it right we want to build you know i'd like two or three thousand people in the telegram before we launch it um why because then you could drive volume to start with that's the important bit volume with an eight percent tax gives us flexibility to do something with it that's the important bit right that that's the important bit i'll you know i'm not gonna i'm gonna ape like 50 grand into launching a token that'll be mental but yeah uh exactly yeah and timing's gonna be everything so when all of and here's here's another thought i had by the way when you get all of these kind of crap tokens coming out and you know there'll be loads of them there'll be loads of rugs and da 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 you just want a token that's fun that you can get in with very very little very very little and i think that'll be important as well and ultimately can be a benefit again there's a couple of things you've got to work through but you know it's important that you build a fundamental foundation before doing anything because you've got to spike volume on that first day if you take and i'll i'll, I'll reference sky i don't know if it's the same on sky again uh, so this is in the hot 10 why it's on avax it's pushing some good volume and it's charts looking very, very good. This is how you get on it. Look, Sky Token here at the top. They just need to index this and it'd be way cooler, by the way. But, you know, this is the important bit that you can drive a narrative around it. You'd be able to drive a narrative around it. And I think that's that's super important. Super, super important. So, Squid Holmes to join the call. I'm in the Telegram. Look, again, the, the point here is it doesn't matter when people come into Telegram. It doesn't matter about anything right now. It doesn't matter about anything. I mean, literally... We are in a world where there's loads of ideas. If, if anything, you, we, we, we sort of want to keep the Telegram relatively compact because we want to discuss things. Good thing is now we can just do VCs in the Telegram, which would be super cool. So we've got a load of stuff to work out. We'll have to build the website. You know, people need to test the DAP out, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Uh, to be getting influencer team set up in the community, community members dedicated to posting on people's XG. Yeah, I mean, look, there's loads of people that would do it. The only thing that I, again, don't want to do the only the only two bit patron. The only thing I don't want to do is pay paying tokens. So that was where a debate came around of do you do a private sale? Do you do a little private sale that you say, well, you know, put fifty dollars in, five uh, hundred people, that's five grand, that pays for marketing, pay, da 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 da. All of this still needs working through and talking through and debating and discussing and but for me that's the easy bit. That's the easy bit. Get a contract, think about utility. How does it all link? It has to all link. If if, if you want to 
put your views across on this. How do you make it so that it's, it's completely cyclical in terms of what it's doing? How do you make it so that people buy the token to use the token and that token becomes deflationary and then if they want to do it again they buy the token again a lot of projects do not do that and i think that's where this has to be different is that ultimately it has to be re not recycled burnt so the, the deflationary supply is based upon doing something with your token that therefore un ultimately will support the flow of the price because a lot of tokens, a lot of projects go, well, you know, give this away. Like giveaways. Giveaways are a terrible thing. Terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. Um, you see it all the time. People do loads of giveaways. It's an absolute waste of money. In my opinion, by the way. It's a waste of money. Unless it's going to be something that you can manage and lock and get them to be on your platform and don't do anything different. But yeah. If it was a proper solid project, I could potentially get an influencer with over 500,000 X followers to look at it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. We can, like, like, yeah, there's there's people that you want to get in and there's people that you wouldn't. Um, but yeah, I I, uh, I know giveaways are rubbish. Giveaways are rubbish. Worst time. Will there be mugs? Yes. For only $350, 2-bit will do personalized anniversaries, birthdays, wedding, and any other celebratory message. <laughs> hey, Crypto J, congratulations. Imagine that. Imagine that. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, on that bit said, though, we are definitely overrun tonight. Man, it's 12 minutes past the last race. So everyone's in, I think. I think Nomad Perry. Uh, well, he's already on the uh, he's already on the list of people that we're gonna get. Who would have thought it? But yeah. Anyway, it's fine. I, it's fine. We'll we'll stick to some. You know, I, I don't want to kind of start just shilling Marbits to pieces every night on this stream because we're miles away from getting anywhere near launching it. Um, I don't mind the hashtag Marbits. I think it's cool. Um, but I don't want to spend loads of time talking about it. We'll do we'll do like a VC in the in the um, in the Telegram. Whether we do it once a week or something like that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I spent to promote it. Equally, if people want to come and, come and help out, people want to get on the team, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Right, anyway, 60 people. Let's ready to rock and roll, everybody. Rock and roll. Here we go. 60 people. Let's go. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Uh, not about selling it though, all about, yeah, 100%. Let's just have this productive discussions. If, if you think about people that maybe watch the stream afterwards or first time to the stream, you know, we want to keep building the channel. The channel supports that. So we just, if it's every night, people are just going to go, oh, I'm sick of him just talking about this project that's not going to launch. So yeah, down the plug hole, hashtag Ben token. That I um I thought he was the crypto banter thing. Did you see that, by the way? Um, Did you see the crypto banter thing with Ben? It was just a massive like com, wasn't it? It was just him basically having a go at him. Crazy. Anyway, the crystal maze look. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a mob bit chilling and proud of it. Keep it on Twitter, baby. So maybe an extra, maybe an extra entry in Marbles Race if you join the Telegram. <laughs> oh dear. Ben is a drama queen. Yeah, it's super weird. Super weird. Looks like Kevin S, though. He's actually on the move. Let's go, Kevin S. Let's go. Uh, no, no, sold it. Shoesmith, sold it. I, I saw my decks as well, disappointingly. There we go. Edward Vincent. It's always good when Edward wins. Go 79 Hunter, Tony L, Matt C, Shoesmith, Pat, M. Kriegs, Echabella, Lauren, Bar, Brandon at the top 10. Congratulations to you guys, as always. As always, too bit fancy seeing what people think of the video edit I did for you. Yeah, 100% people can see it. I, I, I'm i not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie to Crypto J. I, I was a little bit confused, right? I was a little bit confused. And I the reason I'm a little bit confused is, is because it's just a smooth thing. I want to see, like, whooshing stuff coming in and like, mental things. And it's like, oh, like, like, like you know, too bit. Just all sort of crazy stuff. So it's just downloading. I don't know how, how long it's going to be. But it's, look, the edit's clean. I mean, it's clean. It is clean. Let's be clear about that. Um, can I do this? What's this going to do? All right, hold on a minute. Let me just. Let me just see if I can do this. If I go to record video. Um, no, not that one. ZK Sync, can anyone interested in it? Where is it? 
It's not that. Hmm. Okay, I have to kind of put it. Um, it's like it's like it's like here now. I don't want you to. I don't want you to just. Oh my god, what is going on? I've got a calculator open as well. Look, everybody, what is that? I mean, I'm just trying to work out how uh, how I can do this. Hold on, hold on a minute. Right, I've got it. I've got it. Right, here we go. This was uh, this was crypto chairs. The 60. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what the fuck is that? You absolute. What is that? Oh my fucking Christ. Oh. And on that bombshell. On that bombshell. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh dear. So it's a good edit. It was a good edit for sure. It was a good edit, but uh, I don't think it's going to make the final cut of every video that I put out if the intro then just goes to me panicking at a daddy long legs. With that being said, though, let's take a look at the leaderboard. <laughs> Magic Ray. Absolutely dethroning Sam Bab at the top. Ghosts up there as well. Hunter, Shoesmith, Vern, Tim, Justin, Falls, Stu, Tamana, Pete, Nat, Leegee, Diamond, and Cash Nate. Rounding out your top 15 on that Daddy Long Legs bombshell. I am out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow night, 4 p.m. Eastern. Set your alarm clocks. It's going to be an epic show. We'll see what the market does. We leave Bitcoin sitting 42.854. We'll see how that plays out. Are we going to see GPTC sell? Or is the Bitcoin market going to start to rally once more? We'll have it all for you tomorrow night. As always, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.